What is going on my Broskis? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we're going to be talking about Treasure Map. Now we do know Treasure Map is, is very shortly approaching. Uh, it's going to be going live January 18th. Uh, we will be streaming for that I do believe so definitely stay tuned to the Twitch channel for that. When the event goes live we should be live streaming as well. Um, we'll probably make a, I don't know if we're gonna make a separate video about the limit break expansions like these characters It doesn't matter. I like that. They're giving these rumble characters limit break expansions The issue is is the characters that they're selecting are freaking awful like these characters are just never seeing play uh, The Momo and Shinobu are actually a really interesting choice because of the fact that they're very good for one of the grand voyages versus Kuro I do believe and then the Mugiwara 56 straw hats it's it's fine like these characters are okay there's nothing too crazy about it but this treasure map is interesting because this this is going to be introducing new changes to the way that we actually play the game uh, in terms of treasure map that is so as soon as we logged in we got this important notice about new changes to treasure map it says starting from treasure map versus wiper the following adjustments of obtained treasure points will be made to further improve the gameplay of treasure map so they're changing the way that players are able to earn these treasure points. The first point that they bring up is about the treasure birds. So remember, when you land on a treasure bird, you get 1.5 times stats. And then when you kill the intrusion boss, you will get access to 1.5 times points. Or I think it's the other way around, where you get 1.5 times points, you beat the boss, then you get 1.5 stats. I think it's like that. It's very useful, of course, because remember, treasure map bosses, so at least nowadays, are actually really tanky. And getting additional points means that you will get, you know, your rewards faster up until 10 million points. What they're saying here now is that you are only going to be getting treasure birds on the bonus maps. So you only get a treasure bird once every five maps. So there's obviously a lot of issues with that uh, that, that will arise. Number one, it means that it, it seems to be that you're only going to be encountering the intrusion fight on bonus maps because typically the, uh, the the treasure bird summons the intrusion fight so if there's no intrusion fight you, you're getting less points innately because of that and remember that you get 1.5 times bonus points when you land on a treasure bird so that obviously does increase the amount of points that you would normally earn this is interesting and i really hope that this is for the better i really hope that the the, the removal of these birds and only being on bonus map, bonus maps doesn't mean that you know you ultimately need these boosters now because if they go down that route a lot of people are just going to straight up quit because treasure map is already such a grueling game mode if they go out of their way to make treasure map even more rare recruit heavy even more summonable character heavy uh, it's just going to ruin it for everyone, and I really hope that, that they don't go down that route. I mean, obviously, we've made um, we've made our points clear to the to the team, to the One Piece Treasure Cruise team, about what changes we would like to see made, and if they take the feedback on board and they dish us up these changes that are ultimately worse off for the game mode, a lot of people are just not going to take it anymore. So we have to wait and see how these changes are going to be implemented. But then they do go on to say, Battle rushes and encounters. Obtain treasure points from battle rushes and encounters will be increased to balance with the changes made above. So they have said this, but again, the way that Bandai implements certain things into the games, you just cannot trust what this says. So yes, as we have already stated, the fact that they've removed treasure birds means that you will ultimately get less points. They do state that battle rushes and encounters, referring to the four bosses at the end or the, the bosses you find in the middle of the map, those bosses will give you more points. We don't know how many more points, but it does say that it's going to be made to balance with the changes made in regards to the treasure birds. I don't know how much of a change that's going to be. Is it going to be that they're removing the treasure birds, but they're replacing decent amount of points back so that you'll be able to ultimately earn a similar amount of points? But by removing the treasure birds, it means that there's not a stupid animation that occurs every time you start a treasure map run. So I can kind of understand that as well. So we'll have to wait and see how that kind of uh, goes into implementing into treasure map versus wiper. It's interesting stuff to say the least. Then it says treasure spots as well. So treasure spots from landing on treasure chest spots will be adjusted to be a net increase of obtainable treasure points. Again, just landing on these spots, you get more treasure points. I, I don't know how 
useful this is going to be because typically landing on the treasure spots in the middle of a treasure map they don't typically give you that many additional points if you land on the giant stacks of points it can definitely be pretty good especially if you land on multiple of them in a run it can net you a pretty good value but if they up the amount of points you get from those spots I don't want it to be in a weird situation where people have to make a really harsh decision on whether they go for the treasure points or they go for the rainbow chests on a secret map, for example. I hope it doesn't come down to that because a lot of the time people want to go for those chests because they want to get the limit break materials, they want the blue tickets to not only invest them into limit breaking their characters, but also invest it into previous treasure map characters that they may have missed. And for the average player, it's actually very difficult to catch up on all of these treasure map characters that have already come out, trying to invest into getting the characters, limit breaking them. But by doing that and also using blue tickets to invest for limit break materials for limit breaking the characters, it's very hard for the average player to do that. So I don't know how they're going to balance that and I really hope it doesn't come down to it where people have to choose between rainbow chests and treasure points. It's going to be kind of difficult honestly. To further add to this they do mention in order to alleviate the time constraint caused by the animation sequence of obtaining the treasure bird the appearance of treasure birds along with its obtained treasure points multiplier will be less frequent. However, to compensate for the potential treasure point loss, the overall obtainment of treasure points will be adjusted so that users will be able to obtain slightly more treasure points compared to the previous treasure map events. Again, this is all according to what they say. The way that they implement this feature, it might be completely different. So again, we'll have to wait and see when the, when the actual treasure map goes live. They claim that with this new functionality, you should receive more treasure points than the current structure of treasure map. I don't know how much I, uh, I agree with, uh, with that implementation. I don't know if it's going to work out the way that they say it's going to work out. I will say though, I will give credit, if it does work out to be this way, where you actually earn a lot more treasure points than the previous system, then yeah, full credit to Bandai because that's going to be a huge change because it means that people will be able to reach those 10 million points more often and faster. So I think that ultimately this is a good change, but there's a few issues that may arise here. Because remember, they're taking out treasure birds which give you a 1.5 point multiplier. And if they're replacing that with just a flat rate of treasure points, how do they scale that? How do they scale that with your level? Because remember, if you have more boosters, you get more points because of that. So are they saying like, if you had a full boosted team, you would earn this amount of points. So they're kind of scaling it based on a full boosted team. So everyone actually just receives a crap load more points. There's so many different ways that this could be implemented in the wrong way, but it also could be implemented in the correct way and be so good for the whole community out there. It's really hard to judge at this current point in time. But another thing that I did want to mention that came to my mind when I first read this is remember, when you when you access the treasure bird, not only does it give you more points, but it also does give you additional statistics. And as we've seen with previous treasure maps, at least the more recent ones, bosses have absurdly high HP values. And getting an additional 1.5 times stats to your characters when you are in a treasure map is incredibly valuable as these bosses are so tanky, getting an additional 50% attack or HP, you know, or recovery depending on your team comp. That can be very useful and sometimes is the difference between you beating a boss and you losing. So I really hope that with these changes, because of the less frequent release of treasure birds that the bosses are ultimately easier to defeat you know at least reduce everyone's hp by 50 percent because no one is going to have treasure birds at least as often and you know those times you do get the treasure birds you're gonna probably encounter the uh the intrusion boss and that boss will probably be, be like pretty difficult compared to the rest of the other bosses that's how it should be we'll have to wait and see how things progress but that's all i really wanted to make a video about today because these changes to treasure map are pretty significant and again as i said i keep saying it but if it's implemented correctly this could be really good for the community but on the other hand on the other side of that coin if it's implemented poorly we could be in an even worse situation 
than where we currently stand right now for One Piece Treasure Cruise in regards to Treasure Map and how it's being played by the community. But that's pretty much going to wrap it up for me. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about these changes down below in the comment section. Really interesting stuff here. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video though. And if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. I'm that guys. I'll see you guys within the next video.